That's how I put this. Indeed. Ready? Yep. Pathpilot quick tips. Today we're going to talk about importing a DXF file and then applying curve compensation to cut that DXF file to an accurate shape on our 1300 PL plasma table. A plasma cutter works by using a jet of ionized gas to cut through metal. And when it does that, uh, there's a cut gap. There's a, some metal removed. And the width of that cut is called your kerf. And so kerf compensation is essentially saying, well, we know that that, that cut is going to have some kind of width to it. Maybe we want to move it over so either the inside piece that we're keeping if, uh, if we're cutting around the outside of a piece, or perhaps the outside piece that we're keeping if we're cutting an, an ID feature is the correct shape. So in general, people talk about uh, either inside or outside curve compensation. And the idea of curve compensation is to offset the tool's path to get the shape that you really want, a nice accurate shape. The width of the curve, the width of the cut, depends on a few factors. Um, primarily depends on the nozzle diameter, the orifice diameter of the nozzle that you're using. But that really is a function of the thickness of the metal you're cutting. So thicker work pieces require more power to the plasma, which uh, may require different nozzle diameters and hence a larger kerf. Um, there's no exact uh, way to predict what your kerf will be other than doing a, a cut and test uh, method. But the folks at Hypertherm will tell you that a good rule of thumb is that your kerf will be about one and a half times uh, the size of your orifice diameter. So a 50 thousandths orifice will have a 75 thousandths kerf, approximately. Um, if you wanted to determine this as accurately as possible, you'd cut one part using the exact cutting parameters and workpiece that you're going to be using and you'd measure it, and you can change the offset from there to dial it in. So to give you a real-world example, we're going to open this DXF here. It looks like a light cover. This is one of Peter's parts. And just double-clicking it, we'll open it up in our DXF import tool. And right away, you'll see there's this, there's this list of layers in the DXF. And by highlighting them, you can see what they are. As I highlighted that, it's that lower right hole, upper right hole. Right? And using these checkboxes, I can turn these on or off. So if I didn't want these holes, I could just unselect them. And all I have left is the outer shape. You can apply curve compensation either to the outside of this shape. And here you'll see that I do have a, di a tool diameter entered. Uh, and the purple is telling me the actual cut is going to be just outside of the shape or you can apply to the inside. And the amount of that offset is determined by the tool we're using. So here I have tool one, and if I go to the offsets page, tool one has a kerf diameter of 100 thou. So perhaps we think that's a bit aggressive. I could type in 75 thou. And we'll see a slightly different uh, cut path. So in this case, I want layer four to have an outside compensation because I, I really want my piece to be the size I drew it to. And then um, on these layers, let me reactivate these holes. What I care about with these layers is that the hole is big enough. So in this case, uh, if I cut on path, the hole would be too big. So on these guys, I'm gonna use the inside left compensation. which will make the holes, the actual path that the machine follows slightly smaller. We can go ahead and post this to file. And here we see the shape of the workpiece that we'll be cutting.
So to summarize, any cut on a plasma table is going to have a kerf of some kind, and if part accuracy is important, if you're not making art, but instead making something that's got to fit together, uh, you'll want to compensate for that kerf. It's pretty easy to do that in the PathPilot software by selecting the layer you want to comp the kerf on, and then choosing inside or outside kerf, and then uh, you do that for each layer that you want to comp, and then you go ahead and post that uh, to G-Code, and your part should be ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this informative.